everybody, it's Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And this game, even though it was a one-minute game <clears throat> played in 2018 between Grishuk and Duda, I actually remember the game. Uh, I guess I was watching it live, or it was a big it was a big deal at the time because Duda fell into a well-known opening trap. And <clears throat> He couldn't even make it make it to move 11. Man, the truth hurts. So this is Alexander Grishuk versus Jan Krzysztof Duda. They're both over 2,700 feet A, way over. And this was played in one of the chess.com speed events that they have with, with huge prizes. Okay, so they played a Petrov. Um, and just to totally normal main line. And what's funny is like, before the year 2010, well, let's say before the year 2000, like 90% of players with white played D4 here. And then in the last, like, you know, 15 years, everybody plays Knight C3 now. And the most famous Knight C3 game is a game that Zapata beat Anand in six moves. So that sort of started off Knight C3. Anyway, Grishuk played the old main line, d4, okay, typical, d5, bishop d3. Now, <clears throat> black has several moves. Black can play bishop e7, bishop to d6, knight to c6, bishop f5, bishop g4. They're all playable. Duda chose bishop f5, which is sort of a modern move. Castles, bishop e7, and white played c4 because it's explosive. So you got to play c4. Okay, and in this position, typically black plays c6, very solid. And uh, Duda made a, a mistake here, which I guess maybe it doesn't lose the game, but it's, it's terrible. Okay, he castled. Okay, he didn't defend his center pawn with a pawn like, like you should do. Um, in fact, probably even better than castles is ju just taking on c4. Okay, but I, I assume c6 is the, the best move. Okay, so black castle, this is a big mistake. C takes d5. Now black's down a pawn, and he's not able to take back on d5, which didn't stop him. Uh, I guess black should play either bishop g6 or knight d6 and just be down a doubled pawn, which probably in one minute isn't a big deal. In slow game... Might be a big deal. Uh, instead, he blundered with queen takes d5. Black looks pretty safe here. Black's defending everything, you know, a few times. But this is actually a known opening trap, uh, except for one thing. It wasn't known to Duda. So even though things are known, sometimes you still don't know them. Okay, and white's a play and win here with a very unusual move. Bishop takes e4. And you're probably like, why does that win? Okay, so there's two variations, and in this position, Duda actually resigned. But let's pretend he plays queen takes. Now we play rook e1, just a, well, that's a drunken skewer. Typical skewer, attacking the queen, queen moves away, and then we take the bishop on e7. So that's losing. The other move, which looks logical, is bishop takes e4, then white plays knight c3, and if black, black's queen is attacked, so black has two moves here. Move the queen or play bishop takes f3. If you move the queen, I don't care where you move it. Let's move it here somewhere. Then we trade and I do the exact same skewer, winning a bishop. If you play bishop takes f3 and I play knight takes d5 and you play bishop takes d1, instead of white taking on d1, which would lead to an equal position. White has knight takes e7 check, and then take on d1, and white's up a piece. So basically, bishop takes e4, wins a piece. Uh, and so black should have known that, but he didn't, and as a consequence, he lost in 10 moves. So remember, if your rating is 13, 14, 1500, and you're like, man, I wish I was 2730, then if you get to 2730, then you could lose in 10 moves. Yay, so you've accomplished something. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This is 5 Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time 
with more five minutes with Ben. Bye.